I am sure you know that WordPress has been able to update your WordPress website for a long time automatically. Since recent version 5.5, your website may start updating plugins and themes automatically as well. Automatic updates are essential to keep your site secure. Unfortunately, it's not unlikely that these background updates can break your website. So I will show you when and how you should turn off automatic updates and when you better keep automatic updates activated. First of all, let me explain what types of updates exist and why WordPress even does automatic updates. We can divide updates into WordPress core updates, theme updates and plugin updates. WordPress core updates. These updates, further divided into major and minor updates, come from the WordPress core developer team. WordPress major updates contain updates to the WordPress core and the underlying code, such as new features, plugins and designs. However, these updates only include the main bundled theme, such as 2020 or 2021. Third-party designs will be updated separately. WordPress minor versions usually don't include any new features or the introduction of plugins or themes. They are published on demand and almost always offer an overall WordPress security upgrade. They usually contain patches or bug fixes that keep users' websites safe and stable. That's why they are installed automatically. Theme and plugin updates. External providers publish the majority of the available themes and plugins. These updates are entirely independent of those of the WordPress development team. Neither themes nor plugins are usually automatically updated by default, but since WordPress 5.5, your websites may start updating plugins and themes automatically as well. WordPress added the ability to update plugins and themes in version 5.5 automatically to solve the maintenance problem. Unfortunately, some hosting providers activated this automatic option without letting their customers know. Let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of automatic updates and I will help you decide whether to disable auto updates on your site or not. I will start by explaining the benefits. Automatic updates are significant for WordPress security because users tend to forget to update their plugins or core WordPress installation or not pay much attention to it. With automatic WordPress updates enabled, you don't have to worry about updating your site whenever a minor update to WordPress is released. The WordPress core team pushes the updates out for maintenance and security purposes. You also know that if there is a crucial security issue with WordPress or a popular plugin, then WordPress will automatically update. Even if you are busy or away from home, your site will stay secure. If you have many sites, then automatic updates can save you quite a bit of time. And even if you only have one website, Side, you might prefer the peace of mind of knowing that WordPress is taking care of things in the background. Let's move on to the disadvantages. The core WordPress team responsible for releasing updates tries to ensure that updates always go well without any hiccup. However, there is still a risk that automatic WordPress core updates can break your site. They test the core updates very well, but humans create them and generally speaking, humans always make errors. So for instance, if WordPress ever felt it necessary to push out a security update for the integrated core theme and you use it, there is a chance that it will break your website. This risk significantly rises if you have modified any of your theme files. If you have changed any of the WordPress core files, which you definitely should not do, the update overrides your edits. They are gone and you need to add them again at best. At worst, this will break your website. Automatic third-party theme or plugin updates will even more likely break your site as well. There are just too many variables, such as different server environments and plugin combinations out there to catch all possible errors. Many WordPress plugins are also created by hobby developers who cannot test their plugins for all available WordPress combinations. In summary, you should note that many factors can cause an automatic update to break your website. These factors include errors in the plugin code, the plugin not being compatible with your server environment, the plugin not supporting your WordPress version, or problems combined with other plugins. As a result, you get the terrifying so-called white screen of death. The website is no longer available to your visitors. If this happens to you, check out my other video on how to enable the debug log. To prevent this all from happening, it makes sense to deactivate automatic updates. Otherwise, such a severe interruption can cause you to lose business and customers, especially since you may not become aware of the damage until hours or days later if the website is updated automatically. Now you know why WordPress wants automatic updates and the advantages and disadvantages of this automation. Whether you should disable the automatic updates or not depends on you and your website. The important thing first, generally speaking, I don't recommend turning off WordPress automatic updates if you are running a simple blog or small website and you don't make any money with it. They are an important security feature. For most beginners and the vast majority of WordPress websites, automatic updates are useful and you should not disable them. However, if you run a website that must be online 24-7, such as an online store, it's highly recommended to turn off automatic updates. But then you need to make sure that you manually test and install all available updates in a timely manner to ensure your website security. Before I show you how to deactivate the automation of updates, I'd like to point out that you should always test new plugins on a copy of your website before installing a new plugin or doing other modifications on your production site. Try the changes on the cloned site without endangering your actual website. To do this, you can use our free plugin WP Staging. Get the link in the video description. At WP Staging, we have deactivated the automatic plugin and theme updates on our site as well as WordPress core updates because we have to make sure that our website never goes down. 
as we use a shop system that our customers use to complete their purchases. Whether you are using automatic or manual updates is crucial to make sure you have regular backups of your site. If you aren't using a backup plugin yet, watch my top 7 WordPress plugins video. I have found a great backup plugin for you, the link is in the description. I'll show you a method that you can use to disable the automatic update of plugins quickly. To follow me as best as possible, I've created a written version of this video with all steps in detail. Get the link in the description of the video. The easiest way to disable the automatic updates is by installing and activating the plugin Disable All WordPress Updates. Once the plugin is enabled, it will make unnecessary changes. Go to Dashboard and Updates to see if the message This site appears to be under version control, automatic updates are disabled is displayed. It is important to know that this plugin completely deactivates the theme plugin and core update checking system in WordPress. As a result, the notifications for updates are no longer displayed. Accordingly, it is essential that you independently keep your WordPress core, your themes and your plugins up to date. If you don't, your blog or website is vulnerable to security breaches. To carry out the updates, open your staging site and deactivate the Disable All WordPress Updates plugin there. Then you can test the updates in the Dashboard Update tab, the Plugin tab or the Appearance tab. If there are no complications, you can now repeat these updates on your production site. I'd be delighted if you give me a thumbs up. In order not to miss a new video, subscribe to my channel. Have you decided to deactivate the automatic plugins or do you keep them activated? Let's talk about it in the comments. Stay healthy, greetings Leonard.